All right, folks, the sun is set here in Wyoming on Flaming Gorge. And uh, as promised, this is going to be the test run of the diesel heater. You can see here's the box that showed you in the previous video. Set up pretty much as I described. I did add another uh, muffler to it, or sound dampener, what we call it. Uh, anyway, I've got the controller cord that's coming through, through the Velcro window, here, here, and then the power goes underneath and into the jack I'll show you in a second. But uh, anyway, haven't started it up yet. I wanted to show you before and after. And come inside the, the sleeper here. So you see I've got the jacker set up over in the corner. Uh, plugged into that heater and that control cord coming in here when I fire it up this way I can see it from over here where I sit and lay down and sleep and whatnot but then I also have the remote down there as well that uh, I'll just control it from over here without having to get up and down but but yeah so I'm uh, gonna test it out so this is the, before starting it up as you can see here inside temperature inside here the shanty is currently at 32.7 degrees Outside has dropped down to 28 degrees and dropping quickly since the sun is set. And uh, of course the doors are all open so it's, uh, I haven't started anything yet. So I wanted to show you uh, what this looks like. Uh, started up before and after and how well it does. So I'll, I'm gonna fire this puppy up and then we'll come back to you, do some checks in, check in every couple hours or so, see how, how warm it gets in here, how hot, you know, and how well the diesel heat, the heater works. We're going to check every hour or so on the draw on the actual Jackery startup versus uh, runtime when it's actually fired up and once it's, it's warmed up and going. And then we'll see how long uh, it'll last. I'm um, interested to see just kind of what type of runtime we get out of this. So um, we will check in in a little bit. All right, folks, going to start, uh, going to fire this baby up here. So check, you can see on the Jackery, the reading currently no amps being pulled. Actually, it shows just barely one watt showing. I'm not sure what that what the deal is that is, but anyway, 100% uh, of the Jackery. This is Jackery 500, and uh, at 100%, again temperature check. Currently, inside the tent is 32.4 degrees. Outside has dropped to 27.1, and it's uh, 5:53 in the evening. So, come up here and turn this bad boy on. It, anyway, the, the controller is upside down, obviously, because of the way it sits. Actually, I wonder if I could... Anyway, it's upside down, obviously. I'm not too worried about it since I'm going to be controlling it with the remote over here. But, uh, let's see what happens here. So I just started it up, and you can see that it's currently now drawing 89 watts, 85, so that, you know, that glow plug is starting to uh, get warmed up fire up and uh, do its thing so we'll pause here and we'll up, up to 92 watts now 93 uh, with that glow plug going so we'll cut out and we'll let you, uh, come back when it's actually uh, running all right gang so the heater has gotten up to temperature so it's uh, glow plugs are going and it's running and Warm air is a coming out. Temperature check here, it's now 6.01. Temperature inside the tent is already up to 33.4. Outside has dropped to 26.2. Jackery is still at 99%. And in its running mode, now the glow plugs are running, or uh, the glow plugs are uh, all fired up. The glow plug is all fired up. The actual draw on this is uh, right now it's showing 15 watts it drops down to 9 it seems to fluctuate between 9 and 15 watts see there now it's down to 10 and so it seems like about 10 to 12 watts I think is probably on average what it's running at and that's with the setting on the medium setting so this has uh, this goes from 0 to 10 on this particular model I have it on 5 at the moment and this is the uh, this particular mode allows you to set uh, just that range. You can also set it in a thermostat type mode, which I'm going to try uh, later on, uh, maybe even tomorrow night. But anyway, at the half power, essentially, or the half uh, setting, uh, 5 out of 10, it's drawing that uh, 11 watts now. And anyway, it is kicking out some seriously warm air. 
right now. Definitely starting to feel it here in the tent as the temperature rises. Just since we've been talking, the temperature's up to 34.2 now. So anyway, we'll let things stabilize here a little bit and do another temperature check in a little bit. All right, it's now 6.35. Inside temperature in the tent here is at 54.9, so just about to hit 55. Outside has dropped to 22.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Jackery is still bouncing between 10 and 15 watts at the most. Right now it's at 15, now it's at 11, and uh, total jackery power is at 97%. So, and we're that's still just on half of the uh, max setting. So this goes up to 10. Uh, nice warm air coming out. Um, I imagine that if I had that on the highest setting. We'd probably be in the up to 60 or so, maybe even uh, into the 60s by now. So um, we'll check back in a little bit again. All right, time to temperature check. It's 6:52 now, and outside temperature is at 23.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside is at 61.2. Still running at the mid setting, and. Uh, you can you probably can hear a little bit of the the fan blowing in but uh, I hear absolutely no ticking of that pump that dosing pump I can't hear it at all that's fantastic the uh, other cool benefit to this that you know people know about but which is interesting is it's been running now for a while and I'm in here absolutely no condensation there's no moisture in here that nice warm hot dry air coming in here is fantastic so anyway we'll do another temperature check and a time check a little bit all right guys time and temperature check again it's uh, 745 it's now 64 degrees 64 and a half degrees uh, inside the tent 19.8 outside the tent jackery is currently pulling 10 watts and We've actually dropped it down to the four setting. I actually had the tent up to above 70 degrees when I was taking a few minutes to cook uh, my dinner real quick and uh, it got too warm. But uh, you'll notice I am fishing in shorts. This thing's working really well. So we'll do another temperature and uh, time check here, another hour or two, but uh, probably gonna hit the hay here soon and, and uh, we'll see. Uh, throughout the night how this works but so far so good all right morning folks it's uh just a little after 6 a.m the next morning and uh as you can see here the inside temperature is at about 46 45.7 degrees inside the tent here but uh the temperature outside dropped to eight degrees the heater has been running non-stop uh, again, I kept it on the on the level four on this particular controller, and uh, was plenty warm. In fact, I slept with the sleeping bag open most of the night because I was getting a little too warm. But uh, as far as power consumption, though, uh, the Jackery is still at seventy six percent. As you can see, it draws about nine watts right now on that level four so uh, yeah the temperature in the, inside the tent dropped a bit uh, overnight but it's because the outside temperature dropped to eight degrees and uh, so anyway i think this thing's doing really really well i slept very very comfortably and so i'm gonna get uh going around get going here this morning i'm gonna get, start getting some breakfast done and uh turn this actually up just a little bit more and uh warm this tent up just a little bit just to get the morning chill out of here and uh, then I'll go outside and see what the fuel consumption was all right folks uh, last temperature check here so it's uh, 726 in the morning almost 730 sun's come up so I'm about to head out to go hunt for some big lake trout but uh, inside the tent we're looking at 61 degrees right on the dot and outside temperature is showing 6.8 degrees and the jackery showing a total of 72 percent left uh, right now the heaters can't tell the glare the heaters pulling 
right at nine watts of power. And again, it's been running on level four all night long. I cranked it up for maybe five minutes when I first got up, but then cranked it back down again because I started cooking and it got really hot in here. So, so far so good. Uh, in a minute, I'll go out when I get uh, the gear all loaded up and get my bibs and coat on. I'll pop open the box and see what the fuel consumption was. Hi right, folks, pop this open here. Let's see how much fuel she actually burned. Remember this is a uh, seven liter tank. And, ooh, so about, uh, well halfway, right about halfway actually. I uh, didn't fill the tank all the way up. The bottom of this tape line is where I filled the fuel. And it's somewhere between, that's about a half of what was in there is burned. So I think it probably had about six liters in there. I ran it all night long. I'll look at the total time here when I get back home and look at the videos, but uh, about half this little seven liter tank. So I good to know. Uh, hope that's helpful.